Hello and welcome, I'm Tino and I've been absent a couple of days because I've been working a lot in templates, fighter templates especially. I did several comparisons. For that I checked the wiki. As you can see the wiki is here. I checked the defines to verify that the numbers were correct and the wiki is outdated. I did the calculations. I'm going to show all that in this video, but I would like you to learn something more important. is how to define your own meta, your own template, because each country is different. And for example, if you play as China, you have very limited resources and you cannot use the typical meta fighter, small fighter that everyone uses. So I need to design a multi-role, actually a medium multi-role fighter bomber. And as you can see, I destroyed with that multi-role 1,400 fighters and I lost 47 of those multi-role and 100 B planes that I already have from the interwar. And why a multi-role? Because now I need to pass to the offensive to conquer Japan. If I would have built a lot of small fighters, now they will be completely useless because they lack range. And if you are in Paradoxian channel, please subscribe here. It's Tino Dua English. I created this channel two weeks ago, so I hope to find you here. I will keep moving stuff from Paradoxian to here. So let's start and we are going to go directly to the statistic. The first one is max speed. There is a concept in game called relative speed advantage. The faster your plane is compared to the other plane, the more damage you are going to be dealing. So it multiplies your air attack. If you have a big air attack, you will get a benefit from having more speed than the enemy is relative. If you go, go at 1000 and the plane go at 900, it's not a very big deal. We are going to see the details of the number later. Next one, agility. We are going to jump to agility directly because it's similar to max speed but kind of inverse. Agility is the ability to dodge the enemy, and it, it, there is a concept called penalty for agility disadvantage. If the enemy is more agile than you, you will have a penalty and you are going to be dealing less damage. So let's put these two concepts together. If you are a fighter, fast fighter versus a slow bomber, your fighter, since it's much faster, it will deal more damage. And the bomber will deal less damage to you since you have agility advantage. That's how it works. And on the other side, it has no effect. So in the formula from the damage done by you, you will see the bonus from speed advantage. And on the other side, on the bomber side, you will see in the formula a penalty from the agility disadvantage. Next one, air attack. This is your raw damage. And you add to this value the multiplier from the bonus from the max speed and you subtract the penalizer from the enemy dodging ability. After all the calculations you will have a total a real attack value and you should divide that value for the enemy defense. So the defense is super important and it's your, the same happens to you, the enemy will calculate their attack and it divides by your defense. And now let's go to the wiki here, you will find the bonus for relative speed and the penalty for agility advantage and I want to, to, you to pay attention to this number, this is 60% is for speed. That means that if your plane moves 50% faster than the enemy, you're going to be dealing the half of this value. So 50% multiplied by 60% means that you're going to be dealing 30% more damage. If your speed is twice as the enemy, you're going to be dealing 60% more damage. But there is a limit and this is the number here. This is what they modify in the patch. This is the old version, it's updated now. The number is 2.5 and that's why they say that they 
boosted the agility and speed. This means that if your fighter is much much faster you can get even more damage to the enemy. But as you can see fighter versus heavy fighter you will never reach 1.5 100% more speed than enemy. So this only works against the bombers. Fighters versus heavy fighters the modification made in the patch have no effect. Next one, this is the penalty for the dodging ability, so you receive less damage and in this case the cap here it says 2 but is now 3 if you check the defines in the... I'm going to show you the defines, the defines are here, you can check the defines, find the game folder, going back and this means that for example if you have 50% more relative agility for example the enemy has an agility of 30 and you have 45 so you have 50% more agility that means that you get 50% of 30 and you will get 15% extra defense uh, I mean not extra defense, less damage but there is a cap and the cap now is 3 on the other hand, and this is very possible against Bomber, let's say that the enemy Bombers has 10 agility and you have 40 agility, that means that you are 300% better, you reach the 3 points cap, multiplied by the 30%, this means that you are getting 90% less damage from the enemy fire. This means that if you are using fighters on interception mission against bomber it's far more useful to use cannon instead of machine guns since you have far more agility than you need. And finally the cost, the most important value, the cost of the plane is far more important than any of these values. Why? Because the air war in Hearts of Iron 4 follows the Lanchester Square law. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check the wiki, the Lanchester law. Also, you can have a lot of videos about the real-time strategic games that explain the Lanchester law. It's super important, but basically, if you know the law, you will know that if you double this value, you should need to multiply by 4 any of this value to compensate. For example, you can double this, the defense and the attack and you are even by double the cost. And in the example of, of gaming, for example, if you why cost? Because with cost you can have double soldiers. So what is better, to have double soldiers or to have double quality weapons? Well, according to the law and the calculations and the simulation that you can verify yourself, having double soldiers is much better than having double powerful armor or weapon. And please allow me to show you this comment and leave the screen so you can read the comment, but the key here, he talks about the Lanchester law, it's also a conclusion from the Lanchester law that applies to our design that what matters in the end is your attack multiplied by your defense divided by the square of the industrial cost. Take your time to learn the comment, it's quite complex but you can learn two things from there and I'm 100% sure because I'm verified them in with the numbers and they are completely true. Number one, the effectivity of the plane compared to ad others are air attack multiplied by air defense. Of course, in air attack you should include the agility, the speed, all the stuff. And you divide that number by the score of the cost. That translates into a simple phrase. The benefit of decreasing industrial cost is quadratic and the benefit of increasing any of these values is linear. Point number one. Point number two, since these two values are multiplied, let me show you with a small frame. And here we have a small frame. So these two values are multiplied to calculate the power of the plane. But since the fence is much smaller and hard to come by, it's better to increase the value. Why? Because if you add, for example, 5 points to this value, you will have 
29 and if you add 5 points to this value you will have 14 multiply those numbers 9 multiplied by 29 and multiply 14 by 24 and see what is better you will learn that adding numbers to the small number is much better than adding value number to the big value that's why you should try to use this model to add defensive stuff and not offensive I would like to give you an idea of what we just talked. I have a tables with comparison. This is the simple fighter 36 model, the best fighter that you can do with 36 technology. And this is the best heavy fighter that you can do with 36 technology. If you check with the small frame, you do half damage and you have half defense. The speed is about the same and the agility is minor. This only gives you about 15% extra damage. So not big deal. If you take a look at this table, the heavy fighter looks far superior, but it, and it is, but it costs double. And you say, well, it costs just double, but it gives you double attack and double defense it should be much better the heavy fighter and it's not much better it's about the same because the cost is quadratic and the benefit of each of these one is linear so if you multiply these ones you are almost even but anyway with the 36 model i for me is much better the heavy fighter because it gives you far more range and that will give you far more mission efficiency and that will give you the upper hand unless you are testing this of course in europe in france germany with english channel that the distances are very short and now click in the lower left part of the screen and you will find the next video or check in the description for the second part of this series of tutorial and that's all for today because i'm very excited it's super hard to explain this in a non-native language but i hope you have understand what i tried to explain and see you on the next one bye bye